So if you're planning to invest on a project for the long term, this is probably the best tip that I can give you guys. It is kind of boring because it is just looking at the circulating supply and understanding the vesting period and how it can affect how much how much money you can make from your investment. But trust me, once you understand it, you will not be able to invest without looking at the circulating supply. So circulate, circulating supply is basically the amount of tokens that we're currently able to swap, to purchase, to hold, so on and so forth. And total supply is just the total amount that we will have of that token. So how it affects the price and how much money you can make from a project. So let's use Zeta Chain as an example. I'm just using it as an example. I'm not saying it is bad or good. So right now there is 275 million tokens currently that we can purchase, that we can trade. That is the circulating supply. And the total supply is 2.1 billion tokens. So currently the market cap is $368 million. So multiply the current price, which is $1.34, by the total tokens in circulating supply is a total of $368 million. The project is worth right now $368 million. If you multiply that by the total tokens that we will have in the future, that is $2.8 billion. Great. So let's say that you're purchasing Zeta Chain right now. You have a 1K to invest and you're planning to hold it until 2025. And you say, you know what? I might be able to make maybe 3X on my money because it might go to maybe $1.1 billion market cap. Um, so I'm planning to do a 3X. So that is $3,000 in profit. Great. You purchase your token and guess what? This is where you get screwed. So Zeta Chain, since it is at $275 million, a million tokens if we go by 2025 which is when most likely you will be selling your tokens for a profit we can see that by september they will have more than 1 billion tokens in circulation so do the math current price is $1.34 so if you do this 1 billion by 1.34 guess what without you making a single penny in profit we are already at $1.3 billion in market cap. So if that is your target, if you are comparing it with another project, with another blockchain, and you say, you know what, it might go to $1 billion, right there you have $1 billion in 2025 without making a single profit. Actually, if your target is only $1 billion, you will be losing some money on your investment. So that's why the first thing you should be looking at is the circulating supply until um, your plan um, date for selling. So if it is 2025, check what will be the circulating supply by then. If it is 2026, you do the same. Now, if you're just planning to purchase it for maybe one month or two months, to be honest, I don't think it is important because most of these projects, they have a long-term vesting period. So one to two months, if you're just trading it, it is completely fine. You don't really need to look into the circulating supply. But whenever you're looking for the long term, I think this is the first thing you should do. So for me, whenever I'm looking into investing into a project, obviously, I do need to look into the community, the tech. I actually need to use the project. So if it is a blockchain, I test it out, see how fast it is. Um, how expensive it is, how many projects they have, the TVL, which is the total value lock, um, hype around it. Also, I compare it to other projects. That's how I can have um, a, a clear target on my project. So, for example, if I have Zeta Chain, I'm planning to purchase Zeta Chain right now. And I say, you know what, what would be a good comparison? I would go back in 2022 and say um what l1 actually did good so we have for example avax i think it went to maybe 30 billion dollars i would say you know what just to be on a pessimistic scenario let's say it goes to 10 billion dollars cool so that is the vision that i have for zeta chain based on comparison obviously we still need to do a lot of other research again community tech um how they are actually bringing more features so on and so forth but whenever I'm looking to target, I'm obviously looking at the market cap and how much money I can make out of it. Because community, tech, um, investors, vesting, everything else, it doesn't really matter. Because what we want to do is make a profit, how much money we can earn from the project. So if it goes to, from $1 billion market cap 
to $10 billion market cap, for sure we have a 10x. But if the circulating supply is increasing, then that is not a 10x anymore. So let's use that example. Let's say that we want to cash out. So currently the market cap for Zeta chain is $367 million if you purchase today. So let's say that you're planning to sell it at $10 billion. Obviously, I'm just using some numbers here. And we divide it into $367 million. So that means I would make a profit of 27 X's on my money. Again, this is just pure speculation. I just want to show you guys some numbers. So if I purchase today, it goes to $10 billion. I'm going to be making 27 X's. Perfect. But now remember that the circulating supply will continue to increase. And at the same pricing as of today, if we do 1 billion at the current price, which is 1.34, multiply here it is so that would be a price of 1.3 billion dollars the market cap so now i don't have 27 x's anymore right because what i have is 10 billion dollars ten billion dollars divided into 1.3 billion dollars that would be the market cap as of today but using the circulating supply in the future so actually instead of 27 x's what i'm making is 7 x's so now the calculation is actually changing because 27 x's sounds amazing but 7 x's now i need to think if there is any other project that i could make maybe a 10x a 12x a 15x so obviously you guys need to be looking at the circulating supply let's use another one that I'm currently holding. Let's go ahead and use Menta and look at the circulating supply by 2025. So if we scroll down, by the way, I'm going to be adding the link. The one that I use is um, Token Unlocks, but you guys can also use CryptoRank.io. And if you scroll, actually it is here, Vesting, and then you scroll down, make sure that you click on Chart so you guys can see how it is increasing. So Menta, it is basically the same, right? If we go to it and we check currently, the circulating supply is around 324 million tokens. If I look by the end of 2025, around 500 million tokens in circulation. So as you can see, Zeta chain will actually increase by three while Menta will increase by 0 0.4, which is actually pretty decent. So if we do the same math and we check the price for Menta, which is 1.79, 1.79 by 500 million tokens. So the market cap today would be 895 million dollars. So obviously right there, I do need to change my pricing. So if I say uh, Menta is going to maybe $10, then obviously I need to check that would be $5 billion. If it goes to maybe $20, that is $10 billion. So now I can do the math and I can say, you know what, is that a chain actually better than Menta in terms of the amount of money that I can make for it? I'm not talking about the, the tech. I'm not talking about um, how good the project is. What I'm talking about is how much money I can make from the project if I'm purchasing today and I'm looking at the circulating supply in the future, because in the end, tech is good community is great how we use a project is great but if i cannot make money on a project obviously i'm not going to be purchasing it it is just like bitcoin i love bitcoin but to be honest i'm not purchasing bitcoin because of the current price if it is worth 70k let's let's say we go to maybe 140k i'm just doing a 2x and i'm not in crypto just to be making 2x's on my money because if i invest 1k i'm gonna be making 2k and obviously with 2K, that is not life-changing money. So yeah, there you go. Let me know if you have any question. Hopefully this can help you guys out. If you need a more in-depth or maybe more explanation on how I do my research, just let me know. But again, just test it out. Do some calculation by yourself. Calculate what would be the price 
of x project if you multiply it by the circulating supply in the future and you will start understanding how i actually do the process and what would be the the market cap in the future for each project so yeah there you go thank you guys for watching any questions any doubts just let me know take care bye bye